Hello and welcome back to the EPL Open here 2015 live from Blackpool. Myself, Rel and Brian going into this intense series between Ivory Sports and Barrage. It's a great series so far. One of the most incredible hard run games I've seen for a long, long time. Uh, 187 to 185. Barrage is the there we go, I'll just by the way. And he's coming in, looking for the feedback. Well, he's back in looking for the second time. If we get it, the L1 will pick him down. Now, they have to pull the drop, they have to have our skill mid, so he's looking for that second time. Let's go, let's go. He's going to be carrying that one thing through and still trying to make it to the top. Not enough for the very right one. You've got to be wondering whether or not he should play that as well. Considering the fact that he knew he didn't have to put it through. He makes one there, but it doesn't matter. Dendake's going to be able to pick another one up, and he is going to drop those to L2. And it's a big battle oh going on goodness. for Drone Control. Finally, that should go in. There should be a guarantee, too. They've got players in position. L1 goes down, though, and that's broken this entire push. And L2, again, picking up a massive three-piece. L2 is an unbelievable slayer. Some huge play from him. Motion's just about manages to convert before getting shut down. And now it's a 2-0 lead for Ivory Sports. L1 on the flank, though, but he needs to really think about getting back as a heavy push is now coming in as Halley. Or Hawley should be able to get him an interception by Dens, wow. and Dens manages to clear it out as well. What a clutch play from him. And now it's going to be E4 once again on the attack as he goes for the play but misses. He knew he couldn't get that one away yet. Hawley will now have it. Surely he's going to go for another one. Trying to get out of there with the armor. Dancing around the ambulance, keeping away. Has managed to stay alive oh. so far, but just not long enough. Maple now has got to push through. Not able to get the drone either. Dies on the way to get it, and he should be able now. E4 to get this one at least a little bit away. Yeah, that was some great defensive work there by Ivory Sports. Great play, finally hold that, and then just kind of slowly push out. They didn't, they didn't rush it, and uh, they've done a great job here. The Ubling Drone has been dropped, though. I don't know if anyone's going to collect that. There's only two seconds left on it. Yeah, they're going to pick it up oh, now. Just about. Look at that timing. And now they're going to go for it again. They really want to try and make a push through school, but they're just being blocked by players waiting them out. Are they going to push through now? L2 is going to clean that one out for a play. They do not want any of what's happening here. They didn't get school control and they didn't really want to risk a push. At no point can they kind of muster up enough bodies to try and make a break. Yep, so that opening drone is going to go right for the reset now. And we can see E4 actually picking up more kills and getting a good setup around it. But Beanbag trying to deny them that opportunity. It is going to be L2 who's picking it up. down the street but with no support at all. And now, because he's gone down, it's going to be a barrage who have an opportunity to maybe get a one if they can make the kills, but no. Den shuts down their push. And now they're on the back foot. Dens gets two. It's going to be played out, but it misses. It does not go out. And now E4 have an opportunity to push through Skull. They have it. They have a blocker as well. It's going to be only one or two passes to stop them here. He breaks through, goes to shooting window. It's going to go for the two. Ambitious, but too <laughs> greedy. It was just too greedy. They just did not have the ability to push that one through. Oh, and that was so, so unfortunate for them. And it, it was a really tough decision to make. I can see that they were so close. They had that opportunity, but the throw would have been wiser there. It was. I mean, you can make that shot from the shooting window every single time. Uh, but right now, not able to get it after doing so much hard work. Barrage looking to control mid again. And it's going to be Hawley who has it. He goes for the one. He's not being lucky with these. Every time he's made that aggressive push, he's just not been able to get a one off. The one time he did, it got intercepted. Absolutely. So we aren't seeing many conversions being made here, but we are seeing some very convincing pushes on board with L2 now. And uh, we're going to switch things up. Let's see what's going on for one of the Barrage boys. And uh, get on board with, I'm going to say Maple. I want to see what's going on with Maple here. 12 and 7. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's not doing, going on with Maple. Not doing too much, but uh, both are an impressive kills and death ratio. Well, on board with Hawley, and Hawley's now moving forward. He's going to get that pass away, though, and that pass is dangerous. That should be a two. Maple now is in a position to dunk it, and he has managed to put it home. We're all tied up now. I'm going to destroy it. Low scoring so far, but this should be a, re a kind of a reversal, a counter cap, if you will. Yeah. L2 is in a fantastic position. This won't be shut down. Uh, but they've got to be careful. They've now got to go back. Oh, they do have to be careful because there's absolutely nobody to defend this unless they come off spawn. And you can see Holly just waiting to collect it now. And they just had about enough time there to get a nice defensive setup. And it was just a brilliant counter there by E4. They immediately got all four down against Barrage to get that capture. Beanbag picked up too, and they're looking to try and bring this one back. At the moment, Rel, being picked up. And it's going to be Detain who has it, but he goes down as well. Holly's the last one left alive, but now it's four down. 
and E4 are going to go for this once more, but the spawn at the back of the points means they should be able to shut this one down. Big Bang is closed off lockers and trying desperately to stay alive. You can see E4 are running out of options. Dens is alive. Is he going to go for the one? He's going to be intercepted. No! Wow. Throws at the bottom. Three players there. None of them able to hit the intercept. Oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> just found the narrowest of gaps to actually throw that through. Great play from him. And that is going to mean this first half will close out five points to two in favor of Ivory Esports. I think, and uh, I'm probably a little bit ahead of the, the curve here, but I'm fairly certain that for me, Barad now have a really good opportunity to win this. They had a lot of drone control that game. The only time, you know, they kind of lost it. I mean, at one point they stacked school so heavily, the game just stopped. I think they've got a really good opportunity here if they can get school control and continue to assert drone dominance through this second half, they should walk away with a win. Wow, okay, so they are on the point deficit, but it is only three, and as you say, Bryce, if they can get uh, uh, the better push, you know, some may argue they're on the preferred side now, something preferred for some, and uh, they could walk away with this, but they are, as we say, trailing. Okay, he is gonna go down, though. Paul Lee does manage to try and get pick control, but he goes down and is now going to be able to beanbag to at least slow this down. But look, neither team is willing to risk pushing aggressively for drone control right now. E4 do not want to let any weaknesses go, knowing that it's very, very easy to run into school if you start to lose bodies. Uh, and obviously, when there's beanbag, he's just on his own, so he wasn't going to make a push. Yeah, I think uh, both teams are conscious of the counter-attack. Oh, and it's going to be E4 now who get all four down, and it's going to be a very easy, comfortable two points there by motions. And that lead extends seven to two. Yeah, that was really good for them. Just managed to pick up that string kills, but Maple wants back with a two-piece three down now. It's going to be L1 who has to try and slow this push down just a little bit here. Yes. In the corner with lockers, and he's going to see the first player there. And look, they stopped. He has managed to stop as wow. he picks up the second kill as well. And it's going to be Hawley for no interception. Nothing can go on there. And it does seem like E4 have stepped up their game in this second half. And this is the counter. This is what both teams are very conscious about. Interception! Picked up the sky. Beanbag says no good for that one. And he manages to actually get that clear as well. Will go for the reset, but still five points behind it. Tate trying to do something. But again, L1 and L2 working in tandem to prevent that push. There you can see. All in there, waiting for this kill, actually. He's just waiting that one out. He wanted a clean shot, and he does get taken down by L2. And maybe that's a little bit of composure being lost here. It does seem like E4 are really starting to hammer them. Absolutely. I, I just, I, you know, two points is, is all we've seen so far by Barrage in just short of seven minutes of gameplay. Holy, is, is, all he can really do is defend at the moment because it's just this constant aggression from yeah. Ivory Esports. Well, they've not managed to slay out like they did in the first half. They just haven't been able to get E4 anywhere away from them. It's L1 and big players are putting up numbers. I mean, Dens right now, look at that, 20 and 12. The numbers he's dropping, he's almost unkillable. Uh, it looks like this will be converted, and that is another point for Hyper Esports. Six points now. Three carry captures is all it could take. If Barrage can get a good relay going, and they well, have the they're going for school control, but nobody's actually picked up the drone. Surely we're going to run it fast. All this, faster than this. This could be. This could be interesting. I don't think they've really got a good opportunity oh. to do this. They ran it without blockers. They didn't have any control. They were really slow with that push as well. A lot of what they actually did there just was never going to work. And right now that ball has been played uh, and they're going to have a tough time of it. And I said that was a great opportunity for them. They had the ability to go for it, but they just weren't aggressive enough. Yeah, at, at the point of time when we saw a lot of the four players go down Barrage had a great setup, they could have actually passed it in a line and literally relayed it through to the uplink drone center. But uh, it was not to be, and we still see the six point margin of difference. Oh, this, this is going to start being played. He's waiting as well. Look at this. L2 is waiting for as long as possible. Oh. He's actually going to go for it now. His teammates have convinced him they don't have to worry about the play. Can they manage to get another point here? Dens is going to go for it. This one will make it a four possession game. No. Denied. Not able to get that one in. Dens wow. should be able to pick this up though. He's on his own. He's got the yeah. armor. That's in. It's now 10 to 2. And that was wrong. E4 have completely dominated Barrage so far in the second half. So we, the only push we've seen was kind of deflected. But now they have it. He doesn't have any blockers. Paul doesn't have anybody there in front of him to actually take care of that. Yeah, I, I think he that was... That was just reckless. He was just taking a chance there. I think he's very aware that there's only 90 seconds left of gameplay and eight points difference. They've only managed to get two so far. So I, I don't blame him for taking that risk in all honesty. But, you know, you can see Dens here. He, Dens is just being that guy right now. He is, and that's been played out. No, it missed. It did miss, then it's going to go for the second one, and that time it actually goes out, and it's pretty much the kind of the nail in the coffin here for the guys on Barrage, and oh my goodness, Dent is going ballistic, not only in game, but also on the main stage, you may have been able to hear him there, but just ridiculous play for me, for like I said, first half, it was kind of close, 
And I thought, you know, with the amount of control that Barrage actually had, if they do that in the second half, they'll be able to get away with it. But they just didn't have it. You and can, the few times they've grabbed drone control, they've just slowed down. Uh, you, you can really sort of sense the frustration here for my freeze force. Now, it still hurting from that hard point game. And they, they are really just wanting to avenge that. And, and oh! I, I was just, I was holding my breath there. I thought that was going in, but it isn't going to be. It's not going to make all that much difference anyway. It's been thrown out of bounds. It's going to be the slow reset. And there is absolutely no way Barrage can get back into this. It's going to be a 2-1 scoreline in favor of I for esports. And uh, just looking at some of the scores, but that middle of the game stands out as a uh, the big slayer actually on E4, but he's the only one he's the only one positive. Nobody else on E4 actually is, apart from L1 who's just been one point positive. But you can actually see like they, they just played it a lot better in my opinion. I did think that Barrage, you know, the way they played in the first half might be good, but I didn't actually anticipate them slowing down as much as they did when they got control. Well, something to take away from this uh, for i for esports is that they were consistently better than Barrage on both sides. I mean, if we look at that at two separate halves, first half was 5-2 uh, to i for esports and the second half would have been 5-1 to i for esports So, as I say, consistently better. Great plays from them, and we are going to be going into what will no doubt be another nail-biting hardpoint game as we see E4 now 2-1 up in this series. We most certainly do, and uh, just a quick shout out to the Americans I've seen tweeting out of the stream. We do appreciate your support actually in Europe. Thank you very much. We are going to go to a very quick commercial break and we'll be right back with map number four. <laughs> 